President Secretary Austin Fernando sought the advice of the Attorney General on releasing certain sections of the bond inquiry report which had not been released previously upon request by various parties. Accordingly, the Attorney General today informed the Secretary to the President that releasing Section C-350 of the bond inquiry report will not impact the ongoing investigations into the central bank treasury bond scam. In the meantime, the issue of parliamentarians taking money for Marujuna Loishas was discussed in Parliament today as well. The Attorney General has informed that members of the COPE has had direct financial dealings with the accused in the bond scam. So as justice to the country, please remove them and inform their parties to name replacements to COPE in case these members fail to withdraw on ethical grounds. Appointments are made by the parties and have already informed what you said to party leaders. You made a statement yesterday that the IGP and the CID informed you that they did not summon police officers assigned to parliamentarians and conduct investigations. But it was revealed in court yesterday that questioning security officers of a state minister and a parliamentarian led to information on more checks. So, if the IGP and the CID concealed information from you... No, no, that's not the case. What I said yesterday was that 25 security officials are being questioned and it's a separate investigation. The IGP said that if any names pop up during such, we would be informed. Honorable Speaker, there is a news circulating in social media that powerful figures of the government called the IGP and Shani Abeseker of the CID to Parliament and informed them not to submit B reports. If it did happen, I request you to give attention to the matter. Meanwhile, the issue of parliamentarians accepting money from Arujun Aloysius was brought up in several media briefings as well. Dayasiri Jayasekhar says he accepted a million and Sarat Fonseca says he took 100,000 rupees. But criminal charges are not brought against them. That, however, has happened to Ravi Karunanayaka. So I asked the likes of Shani Abesekhar at the CID, why isn't Ravi Karunanayaka arrested? Sujiva Sena Singha, who even published a book on it, has taken 3 million. Are they being arrested? Only a recommendation is made to the president by a presidential commission. So the president has the chance to disclose in parliament all documents which were recommended not to. Whether sums accepted by those who have taken money declared it in the asset declarations should also be investigated. I will not respond to comments and allegations made by various people. In the meantime, Commissioner at the Commission to investigate allegations of bribery or corruption, C. Neville Guruge said that the Commission is yet to receive a single complaint against members of Parliament who accepted money from Arjun Aloysius. We haven't received a complaint, so it cannot be commented. If a complaint is lodged, we will investigate and take measures to file cases.